Hermes has, t uh, the Hermetic Caduceus has two snakes. And uh, that's often used as a medical symbol. But the original symbol was uh, Asclepius with one snake. And he was the god of medicine in ancient Greece. So the next slide should get us to him. Here we go. Here is a snake and a staff. And the, uh, the tradition was there were things called Asclepion in a healing temple in ancient Greece and Rome. Greece and, Rome. and um, you know, before the birth of Christ, pilgrims would go to these Asclepia to sleep overnight and incubate a dream. Their whole it's like a pilgrimage to, to the temple. You, you have the intention to have a dream. You, you, uh, you sleep in a special place, uh, have a dream, and the next morning you get up and, and tell it to the priest, and it's supposed to have something to do with whatever health concern you have. And the priest would interpret it. If you got a really good dream, you would be healed by the dream itself. So, um, and and it's, it's interesting that here the symbol of modern medicine uh, is still this, the serpent and the staff, and dreams have pretty much fallen completely out of favor in modern medicine, except for perhaps Jung and, and Freud and, and occasional uh, psychotherapy sessions. But when I go and, and teach EFT to psychotherapists, I have 100 psychotherapists in the audience tapping away, and I'll, and I'll tell, mention them that sometimes I find it helpful to, to, to do dream work and then tap on the worst things that come up in your dream. And I'll say, how many of you keep a dream diary? And I swear it's 5 or 10% of the psychotherapists in the audience. And I'm always shocked. I'm kind of, so if only 5 or 10% of the psychotherapists are keeping a dream diary, I wonder how many of their patients are, are sharing their dreams with them. It, it, it's really not emphasized much in training anymore, so, uh, yeah, which is, I think, a real loss, and especially since Freud and Jung made their whole careers about, about dreams. So Anyway, so someday, I hope uh, if, if this work and research moves in the right direction, we'll spread more the word about getting dreams back into medicine. So. Uh, 